Hi everyone, I'm Hagao Benari and welcome to Fender Technique of the Week. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what it's like to be the bass player on The Late Late Show with James Corden. I've been a bass player for 30 years. Moved to New York from Israel 20 years ago. Living in Brooklyn, I heard about Reggie Watts getting this gig, like Reggie is going to be the MD for, for, for James Corden on the new Late Late Show. I had already some experience working on a TV show before because back in Israel, many years before, I was the bass player on, for a couple of seasons for like the biggest Israeli talk show. The audition <laughs> was really funny because it's Reggie Watts, like nothing is going to be like, everything is going to be different with Reggie. He's looking for people that basically have really good ears because his whole concept for, for the show was that we're going to improvise. So he wanted to be able to just sing a bass line and then have me play it back at him. So we can sort of write music as we do the show. Let me play you the, the bass line. Here, I have a silly. So this is like a funk meters kind of thing that he wrote and he just sang it to me and I had to play it back. It goes like this. This turned into one of the bumps that we play on the show. Uh, a bump or a bumper is basically the music we play in and out of commercials. So basically I flew to LA really like on the weekend before the show, got the gig and went back to New York, like ran to a storage place, just threw all my stuff in storage. And it's like, okay, I'm in LA. <laughs> so that was seven years ago. Crazy. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a job. It's like we, we just, it's, we're mostly just laughing around. Uh, we write whatever music we want. And again, I didn't know you can do that on a TV show. This is Reggie. He sort of made his own rules. One time we did get called to the principal's office, which is like the, the showrunner, Ben Winston. He had to, like, we had to come to his office and he was like, guys, let me play you back what you just played. <laughs> like you have to have some kind of awareness of where you are. It is a dream gig. Like if I compare it to, so most of my work, I've been mostly on the road and I feel like I was so lucky to play with some incredible bands, but um, the touring is, is like just like different city every day and all this travel and I think you become successful as a musician and then that's your lifestyle and it's, it's a lot. I get a lot of messages from people like, how do I get a gig? Like, how do I get a gig like that? And I mean, if there was an easy way, <laughs> everyone would have it, right? But I would say the first thing, you have to have the, the ability to, to get along with people, be nice. I think that's something I learned living in New York because like the level of musicians in New York is so ridiculous that it's not enough to just be good, you know? It's like, why would someone hire you over another person? They have to kind of like you too. So another thing to, uh, that you need working in a TV show is that you need good instincts because you have to always be on your toes. They will ask for music on the spot. So we have to be ready for anything that might happen. So one, some of the sort of go-to things we have prepared. If there's anything happy, any cool thing happening, we're gonna go, ta-da! <laughs> so ta-da will always be in G. We'll have like the drama, we'll set it up, prakum, G. And let's say someone, one of the guests is like, I have this crazy dance move I have to show you. Or even if he's not saying, like James will make him do it and the audience will jump in and then this guy have to, this guest have to dance. So I think one thing we would go to is like a disco dance group. Let me play a little bit of that. That's 
the vibe, basically. And it's kind of a dream gig. Anyone would just go for it, probably. But he wanted people that have their, their sort of level of creativity and their own voice on the instrument, you know, so it doesn't become automatic. And there's something about um, working on TV where I just feel like people really love working on, like a lot of the crew, like they, they really love coming to work. There's just this excitement, especially when you do a live show. Yeah, it's, it's I kind of can't believe my luck to just get to go to work and have a laugh with friends. And that's my job. <laughs>